A new put banking service in Singapore is now welcoming your deposits. The idea is, if you develop chronic diarrhea or severe irritable bowel syndrome one day, you could possibly use the all-important gut microbiome in your stool to restore your health. In the future, it could even help to fight obesity, dementia or cancer. So let's get down to big business. We asked Dr. Sunny Wong, Director of the Centre for Microbiome Medicine, just what the gut microbiome is all about. The gut microbiome uh, refers uh, to the collection of microbes uh, inside our gastrointestinal tract. We know there are many of them, there are trillions of these bacteria and also virus and fungus. And they are important to our health. Our gut microbiome helps us with digestion, fending off infections and even regulating our mood and energy levels. According to Dr. Wong, we all have a unique gut microbiome which changes throughout our lives due to ageing, diet and lifestyle. And sometimes, it can be disrupted by diseases. For example, people who have Parkinson's or Alzheimer's disease have a smaller variety of gut bacteria compared to healthier people. There's a lot of interest uh, with uh, what we call the gut-brain axis. So we know that the gut is connected to the brain via the nerve, via the bloodstream as well, and they are very closely related. So microbiome is, in a sense, uh, related to neurological conditions, for example, dementia, Parkinson's disease. So some scientists suggest we should save a good version of our gut microbiome to fall back on when we need it. Using poop for health has its roots in 4th century China. Physician Ge Hong would make patients with diarrhea take yellow soup, a broth made from a healthy person's dried stool. By drinking this, patients were reportedly cured of diarrhea. Thankfully, these days we don't have to take yellow soup. Here's how you can bank your healthy poop for future use. First, a small sample of it will be screened for diseases. If your poop passes the health screening, a larger sample will be collected. At the lab, your stool sample is first weighed and placed in a vacuum chamber. It gets mixed with different solutions into a slurry, which is then shaken and filtered for unwanted food particles. The slurry is then spun in a centrifuge to get a concentrate of the gut bacteria. This is then kept frozen at minus 80 degrees Celsius for up to 10 years. And when you need to put a healthy microbiota back into your body, you'll go through an FMT. FMT uh, is what we refer to fecal microbiota transplantation. What we do is actually we take the fecal samples that actually has a healthy microbiome and we take it, we process and transfer it back into a recipient. This is how it works. That slurry you'd kept frozen is now thawed. You can then swallow it in capsule form or you can get it sprayed into your colon or stomach surgically. So what we know now is that, uh, for example, people who have uh, gastrointestinal infection, like the C. diff infection, so uh, they uh, can be cured by uh, using the FMT. So FMT can replenish and restore a healthy ecology and cure actually up to 90% of these cases. C. diff, or Clostridiodis difficile, is a bacterium that can be picked up from unclean surfaces and gives people chronic, even fatal diarrhea and colon inflammation. Fortunately, uh, you can say that C. difficile is not really so common in Singapore. Hundreds of clinical trials are being run globally to test whether FMTs can also treat other conditions. We know that microbiome is important for certain conditions such as obesity, metabolic syndrome, or even some cancer or some gastrointestinal diseases. But we know little about the exact mechanism of uh, what, for example, bacteria are useful, what bacteria are beneficial, what are they harmful of. Given all that we know and have yet to know about the importance of a good gut microbiome, would you bank your poop for the future?